Colomus tympanicum is a rare tumor that occurs in the middle ear. The middle ear is where the eardrum and ear bones are situated in the ear. In order to understand where that is, you need to understand the way the ear works. The way the ear works is sound comes in through the ear canal, hits the eardrum, and goes through the three bones of hearing. The first bone of hearing is called the malleus, the second bone is the incus, and the third bone of hearing is the stapes. The stapes, or third bone of hearing, interfaces with the hearing organ called the cochlea. Cochlea means snail shell in Greek, and you can see it's shaped like a snail shell. Within that, there are little receptor cells that receive the sound, turn it into a nerve signal, and send the message to the brain. When a patient is diagnosed with a glomus tympanicum tumor, it is typically found by seeing a red tumor or mass behind the eardrum. Very typically it is pulsating and patients will have what we would call pulsatile tinnitus, which is a noise in their ear which correlates with their pulse. In order to understand what a glomus tympanicum is, you need to understand what glomus cells are. The body regulates oxygen content by constricting or narrowing or opening up blood vessels. There are chemoreceptor or receptor cells within the body in various locations. What these receptor cells do is they detect the amount of oxygen in the blood. Based on what they detect, they lead to other cells either opening or widening or closing or constricting the vessel, changing the amount of blood that goes through the vessel and thus changing the amount of oxygen. One of the places that these glomus cells exist is in the tympanicum region or on the prominent part of the bone where the cochlea is just deep to in the deep part of the middle ear. These receptor cells or glomus cells will start to multiply. It is a benign tumor, but it is also a highly vascular or bloody tumor. If you have one of these tumors, typically people will be able to see it through the eardrum using a microscope. If you have any questions or have been diagnosed with a glomus tympanicum, please do not hesitate to contact us to discuss it further. You can contact us via phone at 602-307-9919 or look on our website at www.azhere.com.